Hey, it's your girl Alien Ling Lee, and I'm here to show you guys how I attempted to dye my hair this color. Um, the color came out okay. I didn't really dye it all the way through, so it's still some black spots. But this is a warning. I do not know how to dye hair. I literally looked at other um, YouTube videos and was like what the fuck i'm about to try this shit this is what i got um it's cute it came out pretty cute but yeah we're just gonna jump right into that and i'm gonna talk while it's happening so all of the products that i used i got them from the beauty supply store um i used 40 i used 30 developer because i was really afraid to damage the hair and a lot of people who had like natural hair didn't use harsh developers so i thought that i wouldn't do that the dust got in my oh my god that bleach got in my face it was awful it was getting everywhere but i put the um the powder in first and then i put the developer in there and i'm gonna show you really quick what it looked like um I pretty much did it until it was creamy. Oh my god, I was sagging. You see that? Oh gosh. But yeah, I I put I put it in there till it was creamy. I used this um quick activator. I just looked for um, anything that would make it stronger. So it was this pouch. I'm gonna put it in the description below. But it was this pouch that said it made it make it like lighter, faster. But yeah. Um. I lost something, so I had to find it. Like, I lost a lot of stuff. But, yeah, basically here I'm mixing it, mixing it all together, getting it nice and creamy. It wasn't creamy enough, so I had to uh, put some more developer in there. So it was just nice and smooth. I didn't have a bowl to, to use, so I used the um, container. I know, I'm so ghetto. But, yeah, I just made sure it was all nice and creamy inside of there. It, like, I did not have any method going into this. I was just like, I'm going to dump this in this and see what happens. And then it happened. But, yeah, you saw it was kind of creamy and all that stuff. So, here, I'm just dividing the hair and getting it all ready. Y'all see how healthy that hair is? Like, you know, it's all shiny and beautiful and I'm about to come put all these chemicals on it I was so scared like oh my god so I I have um, a little brush to put the dye on but as I had gloves which I don't do have often so I just decided to go hands-on and just use my hands it still wasn't as creamy to my liking so I had to um, put some more of the developer in there but yeah went all in i just just started putting it everywhere just smacking it on there just getting those insaturated and combing through the hair just smacking it on there like getting it in so this is gonna go on for some time so A, a section I basically put the aluminum foil over it so I guess they say it heats it up or whatever and helps the stuff process or what I don't know I don't know I don't know the science behind it I've seen a lot of people on YouTube do it so I was like I'm gonna do it and yeah that's what I did Yo, I'm like stirring this like mad aggressive. Like I was getting so frustrated. I just wanted to be done. I look like a whole hobo out here. Y'all see my hair growth? A lot of y'all don't know. I did 
did the big chop, so I'm growing my hair out, and my ponytail is just looking beautiful. But I'm like moving on to the second, you know, part of dyeing my hair. I kind of missed some pieces in the back, and I still didn't really get them. I was just getting really paranoid that I, I wasn't like hitting all the right spots. And I really did it. And if you can peep, the hair was already like previously dyed. And I didn't know if it was safe for me to dye over. I, like I cut the dye out. So I previously had dyed this hair. And I'm going to insert some pictures of what it looked like before I um, did the chop to it. Because it didn't look like this. But I'm going to put some pictures in here for y'all. Probably at the beginning or the end. I don't know. I'm going to put it in there somewhere. But yeah, I had dyed it before because I was tired of it being black. But um, it didn't come out good at all. So I ended up cutting it out. And that's what I was left with. But it, it still was black. Like I was tired of it being black. And that was the whole point of me even trying to dye it. So I was like... Fuck it, I'm gonna do it again, so that's what you see me doing now. This is me basically saying fuck it, you know? So at this point in the video, I was mad, excited. I was really ready for it to be done. Like, I, if you thought I was stirring aggressively in the beginning, I'm really in there now. Like, I wanted it to be done. Like, I, I was trying, I just wanted it to be done so I could see what it looked like. So I was very, like, not patient. I let it sit on there for maybe about 25 minutes before I took it off. But I don't think that was like quite, a, I, I should have let it sit on there for a full 30 minutes, five, five more minutes it probably would have came out slightly better than what it is, but you know, y'all tell me how y'all feel about the end results, you know, in the comments or whatever, but at this point in this video, I was just like, I want this done, I'm over here trying to hit them baby hairs and stuff, because uh, it is a frontal wig, and the closure or the frontal wasn't as healthy as the back of the hair so I was very nervous about dyeing my frontal because usually when I dye hair and I dye the frontal I always end up um with like no frontal because I the frontal hair end up falling out so I was really afraid but luckily the hair is actually still really healthy and it did not um give me any problems when it came to like the frontal shedding or anything so that's good like well okay it shedded a little <laughs> I did get a little shedding but like now that I have it on and stuff I haven't gotten any shedding so I'm happy with that okay so this is the part where I put the dye on the hair I mixed the dye with um silicone mix so it could uh, condition the hair as well as dye the hair um, I don't know I didn't know what I was doing like I, I just you, you, you see like you see how the blonde came out it wasn't even that blonde at this point so I knew I kind of already had messed up when I got to this point so it was just like I'm just gonna 
saturate. Like, I'm just saturating. I'm just slathering it on there, smacking it, giving it all I got. Who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. Yep. Daddy, that's me. But no, for real. I, I like, I was over it. You see how fast that I was moving? Like, I was over it. I was just trying to get that dog on that hair and see what it looked like. Um, so, you can, you can see, like, how light it was. You know, I tried to let the sun hit it, thinking that that was going to make it lighter. I mean, it did for the most part, but, like, it could have been better. Like, what is okay could have been better. Like, <laughs> that's really all I had to say about it. But you see how well the conditioner really made that hair so pretty like i was really pleased on how well the curl pattern stayed on the hair like that was my favorite part running my fingers through the hair and you can see like on the end where i had all of that hair the dead hair that had fallen out and also i didn't probably probably i don't know how to pronounce that word properly cut the wig so the front of the hair was still long while the rest of the hair was short. So I had to go in and cut it some more. But yeah. Okay, so again, this is what the hair looks like. Um, what I did wrong was I didn't leave the bleach on long enough and I didn't lighten the dye enough. Um, I was really afraid to leave the bleach on long because my past experience with dyeing hair, I damaged the hell out of hair. So that's one thing I'm actually super happy about that I did not damage this hair. It's still very healthy very very much alive and if you want to purchase this hair you can always follow me on instagram and dm me or you can go to my hair page alien locks underscore and you can actually get this hair for an affordable price uh i do um three bundles in a frontal for 180 so let me you know holler at me woo -woo. but anyways uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my failure as much as I did because, you know, I'm going to rock this color like I meant to do it. Uh, please like and subscribe to my ch channel. Uh, comment on this video. And before I go, I'm going to hit y'all with one of my random thoughts of today. So, I've been having trouble with knocking what is the appropriate amount of knocking like do you knock three times people told me not to knock three times because every time i knock three times they say that's the that's the police knock so how many times do you knock i don't like i, I feel like two knocks is not enough knocks i feel like four knocks is overdoing it so what how many times do you knock on someone's door or do you even knock on doors like it's like doorbells i don't know not everyone had doorbells so let me know in the comment section below and what y'all want me to do next. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial slash like random video. And yeah, bye.